Georgia is a new front in Russia's hybrid war, with protests sweeping across Tbilisi and other Georgian cities in reaction to a foreign agent law modelled on the Russian equivalent from 2012, the growing divide between a society that favours European integration and a government seemingly hostile to such aspirations is boiling to the surface. Georgia's ruling party announced it would scrap the controversial bill following two nights of widespread protests in Tbilisi over fears it would drive a wedge between the Caucasian nation and Europe. However, the announcement was met with caution among protesters who say they will continue to demonstrate until the government formally denounces the bill and releases all those who have been detained. The proposed legislation was compared to a draconian set of laws adopted in Russia and condemned by rights groups as a bid to curtail basic freedoms and crack down on dissent in the country. The developments sparked mass unrest, with thousands of demonstrators gathering outside Tbilisi's parliament building, waving not just the Georgian flag, but also that of the European Union. The recent history of the US and European engagement in the strategic South Caucasus region has been one of intermittent attention, lack of clear strategy and waning influence. That has enabled Putin to open new fronts in his hybrid war to consolidate Russian power in the region. The recent events in Georgia also stem from this.